All right, family, get a new sport. I'm going to dash 20 minutes late. Today is uh, Trigger Tuesday in my city, Chicago. August the 30th, 2022. Now, I just got done doing a video pretty much explaining uh, older people deceive us and things of that nature. Now, in my city, Chicago, where I reside at in America, there's a, um area called community called Uptown. And... That's basically where a whole bunch of different refugees and immigrants pretty much take advantage of the natives. Uh, that was kind of like they stumping ground, and I wasn't really aware of it until, you know, I decided to go to uh, Harry S. Truman College for GD um, classes. I really didn't, you know, frequent the place until they made me homeless and I kind of um, got with this program called Breakthrough Urban Ministry and they um, put me in a building that was infested with drug addicts, alcoholics, and people that looked like they were just left for dead. And of course I went in there preaching the word, trying to get that spirit to not jump on me and it was very demonic. Um... I ended up leaving there after a couple of years because they railroaded me out of there because the drug dealer wanted to take over. I'm in a building right now, 6210 South Kenmark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, that I know is probably my building. All of them probably was my building or my family's building, and people just have taken over, and that's why the people were looking so um, demonic and things of that nature and stuff because when people steal and take your stuff, they don't keep it up. But if it was theirs, they would. That's kind of how I feel like they've been kind of just, you know, young Pharaoh said it best. You know, he felt as though we've been um, um, taken care of by strangers or whatever in so many words. You know, we've been, um, we've been kidnapped pretty much. And our own uh, Martin Luther King said we are living in exile on our own land. Um they say you want to keep something from somebody, you just put it in the book. Now, I flipped the um, Bible, you know, to Isaiah chapter 59 and uh, chapter 60. But, uh, you know, nobody comes into your life by mistake. And I had a Jehovah Witness come into my life. And we wasn't talking no Bible until like, I want to say the last six months, I said in one video the last couple of years or whatever, but I believe it was like the last six months of our relationship, if that. Um, she was supposed to be my girlfriend, and I think she was trying to lure me in into the, um, the satanic-ness of her, um, her group or whatever. I believe alcohol is numbness was atheist anonymous and they just needed me to um, feed off of and, and, and influence people that was just as naive as me. Now, I'm going to go with the Bible and show you where uh, LaWanda George Jacobs, my ex-girlfriend, was, you know, not a saint. Now, they say in AA, we are not saints, but, you know, they also say progress, you know, we work on our uh, progress not perfection or whatever and stuff but if you study progressing you will eventually get better and better and perfect i just watched this guy uh shoot about 10 basketballs in a row and didn't miss any so that was perfection which means he had to keep going and doing and doing and doing it so you know it is possible now this if you got your bible go to isaiah chapter 60 verse 16 it says Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, which I believe to be white people, and shall suck the breast of kings. Now, I seen this YouTube video where this guy, he had breasts and nipples. You understand what I'm saying? It's like they made it that way. And, you know, guys want to be girls. Now, you have some girls that can be kings and queens. You understand what I'm saying? I would consider myself that person, but I am a girl for real. Now, they have a movie out with Viola Davis that says Women Kings or something like that. 
Anyway, I'm not trying to promote all these. I'm just trying to tell you the facts about my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jakes. It all goes on to say, And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and the Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. But that is not the one I want to talk about. I want to talk about... Um, Uh, verse 10, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. Let's start with that one. Uh, and the sons of strangers shall build up the walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I have mercy on thee. Now, that is a, a good one, but that's not the one. Let's talk about this one. This is the one I do believe. Let me see. Oh, yes. Isaiah chapter 58. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Now, if Lawanda Joy Jacobs, the um, Jehovah Witness, you know, was a good person, why would they put this in the Bible? And why would she leave me on for 15 years thinking that I had a friend and then when it she hit the fan. She threw me under the bus. Let me read it again. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people, which is the real people, you know, me being a good person and my higher power, their transgressions. Meaning if I failed you, it's because I followed the wrong people, hung around the wrong ones, thinking they was worthy and they were not. And the house of Jacob, their sins. So if LaWanda Joy Jacobs did not know. She knows now, but she was a Jehovah Witness, and I'm pretty sure she knew. Now, this is the tripped out part right here because we're not supposed to be paying for anything, especially not food. It says, Ho. This is what it says, Ho. Let me show you. It says, Ho. <laughs> Everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye. Buy and eat. Uh, yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. It actually says that, without price. That's uh, Isaiah chapter 55. But this is the part that, um, that I feel as though... Uh, you know, they, uh, they did me dirty. On the um, west side of Chicago, uh, February the 10th, 2011, I was at a uh, shelter called Hope House. And I went to a Walgreens on Roosevelt and a whole man. See the whole, whole man. And this game banger was in the Walgreens with his mother and there was a security guard in there. And, you know, they had set me up because I had, um, I was fasting for about nine days. Now, when real people fast, we fast to pray to get guidance and understanding from a power greater than ourselves. But this Bible says, uh, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 4, it says, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. This is the enemy. This is the reason why they fast. And to smite, smite means to hit, with the fist of wickedness. And that's what happened to me. I um, did a um, video called uh, Ladies and Gentlemen, and that I posted on YouTube August 28th of uh, 2012. And I pretty much broke it down and, you know, told you what happened. I might be a little, you know, funny about it, you know, as far as telling the story, but wasn't nothing funny that day. You understand? Real talk. And then the next day, allegedly, um, Whitney Houston supposed to have died February the 11th. Something else happened um, on February the 10th. I figured it out, and it was, you know, it's, all this is all bad and stuff. But here, this is what it says. Like I said, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 4. Behold, ye fast for strife, and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this. 
day to make your voice to be heard on high. Now, I was just going to um, get me a snack and the game banger, you know, had a cart. If you've been to Walgreens, you know, you don't need a cart to go shopping. People go in there just to go get their prescriptions or a snack or something like that. And they leave up out of there or they pictures and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You don't need a shopping cart. I've never really seen nobody, and that's the truth, besides that game bag on that day with a shopping cart. Now, usually they might have a handheld basket or whatever and stuff, but he did it on purpose. And I said, excuse me, you know, you bumped me with your cart, and that's all it took, and he beat me down to the ground like I stole something. Now, like I said, I was fasting for nine days, so I had no strength, but I had enough strength to get up and follow him out the door, and by this time, he was snitching on his mama, saying, Mama, Mama, what you want me to do? And then the police came, and of course, they all blamed me and stuff, so this is this is what they're doing. They're using the Bible, and they set me up because I'm the originator of rap music since the age of eight, 1975. They try to give my legacy to Martin Luther King and everybody else, every rapper, Tupac, Young M.A., Eminem, whoever came in my life, ate off my plate, never hung around for, you know, the bad times, only the good times. I'm in a building right now that's supposed to be a government-funded program where people don't drink or smoke or nothing like that, and we're supposed to have meetings and get to know each other. They lied to get me in here May 31st, 2017, and it's been hell to pay ever since. They haven't kept their word. they just using me to come up and get cars and free money. The guys, there's more guys in here than girls. There's about four girls and about... 40 some guys, and that's why I say, Ho, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters, and he that have no money. So they just squatters living off my land for free. They ain't paying nothing, it's getting everything free, and they think I'm stupid. But, um, you know, seeking ye shall find. But when they talk about suck the breasts of men, you understand what I'm saying? Now, that's. That's that's taking it too far, real talk. But I, it's a video out there. I'm gonna put it with this one, and um, you know I'm not lying. Also, it says, "For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thou executors righteousness." Meaning, police, if you touch me, I promise you. It says, violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting no destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call the walls salvation and thy gates praise. Which means, you know, we are cleaning up our act in my city, Chicago, for the most part. They're still trying to discredit all the real ones that helped them make all that money, property, and prestige by putting us in jail, coming up with the coronavirus, killing off millions, and, you know, trying to put me in that... Um, and that line also, because I am the biggest of them all because of me being an originator of rap music. And they're just using the younger people because they did not know when they had, had it the worst, you know, because of crack cocaine coming up. You know, when I came up in the 60s, I was born May 25th, 1967. And because the older people didn't tell us how to handle situations which used to baffle us and stuff, unless we went to alcohol as anonymous and took it seriously, and a lot of people... Did not take it seriously. They took it for granted, but I took it seriously. And thank God I have 24 years this year. Uh, my sobriety date is uh, Christmas, December 25th, 1997. I have 24 years of sobriety, but they try to take 19 years of sobriety. Uh, the day after Mother's Day was Mother's Day was on May 8th of 2016. And on May 9th, they held me down and gave me cancer of 2016 trying to provoke me to anger so they can discredit me or kill me and they would have killed me on the psych ward at the cook county jail uh psych ward hospital in my city chicago but because i knew what they was trying to do and been knowing since forever you know i decided to you know you know pretty much do the right thing so remember definitely read isaiah chapter 60 verse 16 when they talk about suck the breasts of kings you understand what i'm saying see the guys want to be girls because i'm a girl and they hate losing to girls that's what this is all about and um they they will violate me if i if i give them a chance but i don't i give them their conscience to deal with and that's what's going to kill them in the end if you touch me this time i promise you god will kill you and with that this your ghetto news poor mary dad's 20 mary release that became up peace